Okay, so I've calmed down, but now I went back on, and um, one of the first comments I saw, one of the first comments that was posted said, oh, I really liked the Sega consoles, but I guess you are right. This just shows that if you have respect for someone, but why would you have respect for Old Wizard at all, that it will change your perspective on something. Like, say if I had a lot of respect, which I don't, but, you know, say if I had lots of fans, which I don't, I had lots of fans, and, I, and they all like cake, but then I said, no, you shouldn't like cake, you should like pie, and they all went, yes, we don't like cake anymore, we like pie. It's the same thing. Anyway, before I get off the gaming consoles and move on to the worst games of all time, I would like to share with you their top 10 game gaming systems. Now, most of them are pretty legit, you know, no real problem. <coughs> Sorry. No real problems with them, except for number 10. I couldn't have put a Sega console there, because they pretty much come up with every single console they could think of just to fill in the gaps that the Sega consoles would have filled. So, number 10, we have the Intellivision! Yay! With 16 buttons for graphic for games that don't need that many buttons at all. For cartridges that barely will fit into the into the cartridge slot. A stylish system which could fit into a 12 inch by 24 inch box. Yay! Oh wait. Hmm. Never mind. Let's move on to the gaming top worst video games of all time. Okay. What makes the worst video game of all time? Bad controls, blah blah blah. We know that. Skate or die. Skate or die is good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go through all of them. Yo Noid is good. Skate or Die is good. Where's Waldo? It's bad. Total Recall. Hmm. I guess that's... Oh, I don't know. Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury is fun. It's not a Street Fighter clone, okay? It's like saying a Mortal... That's like saying that Street Fighter is a Mortal Kombat clone. They're nothing alike at all. Okay? I'm not even going to fight you on that. Fifteen Elevator Action. Fourteen Festus Quest. Thirteen Desert Strike. Desert Strike is amazing fun. You're a helicopter blasting around little tiny people and destroying things and blowing shit up. That's fun. That's a winning formula. Number twelve, the Three Studios. Eleven, Superman sixty-four. How come a Superman sixty-four isn't higher up? That's a terrible game. Number 10, Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins is a really fun game. Sure, you only have two hits, but just because the game's hard doesn't mean it's bad, okay? Ghosts and Goblins is awesome. You're hitting, you're killing all sorts of r weird creatures, that's amazing. Number 9, Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis. Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis is the best version of Jurassic Park there will probably ever be this side of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. You could play as a person going around shooting things, or you could play as a Velociraptor. You could play as a dinosaur. What game back then allowed you to play as a bad guy? Number 8, Joust. I think that's fun. 7, Wayne's World. Fine muscle. Number four. Now here we're really gonna get some piss boiling here. Number five, Paperboy. You will never find someone saying Paperboy is a really bad game. Not they may say, oh, it's not the, their favourite game, but no one will ever say, oh, it's bad enough to be number five in a worst games list of all time. 
Number four, big rigs over the road racing. Okay, that's that's fine. Number three, Top Gum. Number two, Shaq Fu. Number one, E.T. Okay, so there's just a few major problems with your list. So, um, where am I now? Believe it or not, I did a top 100 video games. Okay. Um, top 5 worst video game related websites. Okay, this is just to clear some things up. Sega Nerds. I put Sega Nerds there. It's strange that there's a fan base. This is. I'm going to put this out of context a little bit. Just going to change the words so I can read through it a lot faster. It's strange that there's a fan site for a video game company who has failed at making good systems and good games. Bullshit. That's all I have to say. It's bullshit. Okay, top ten worst video game heroes. Johnny Cage from Street Fighter. I mean, not Street <laughs> Sorry. Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Number nine, Sonic. Now, I don't know what Old Wizard's problem is with Sega. Did, did, did someone from the Sega company come and kill their families? Because it, it sounds like it according to these lists. It sounds like they got a real grudge with Sega. Now let's read what Sonic has to say. Sonic looked cool, he had cool hair, he always looked like he was the hero, blah blah blah. Hit him once though, and his rings would go flying out. So he had one hit point. Two hit points. Mario had two hit points. If you if Mario so much as touched a foreign pixel of an enemy without a mushroom, he would die. Are you not forgetting that? Have you forgotten that? And um, the good thing about Sonic is he could collect his, collect his rings after he had dropped them. Anyway. Um, there was so much desired from him. No one really knew about him, so I doubt it. Sonic couldn't throw anything. He had no magic. He could turn into Super Sonic. How's that not awesome? Um... All he could do was jump on enemies. Oh, oh, I can't think of anyone who doesn't jump on enemies like Mario. A lot of gaming icons jumped on things. Uh, Sonic never said anything humorous. He didn't talk at all. In the original games, he didn't talk whatsoever. So how can you say that? Nor made the game player feel anything special towards him. Yes, I I feel that Sonic is awesome. That's how he felt towards me. That he was a great video game character. And in my eyes, the best video game character in the world. That's my opinion. Sonic will continue with these lacking qualities throughout the series, even the 3D versions of the game for later Sega systems, which were some of the more abominable games ever made. Sonic just needed more than his il illustration to be as great of a character as he was hyped to be. 3D Sonic games were awesome apart from when Sega got out of the console making business. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were brilliant games. They were that they are what Sonic game 3D Sonic games would need to be. And when Sonic Unleashed comes out which is this year in November, I'll be sure to get that. And it will get 9 out of 10s, 90% everywhere. And if you say that that is a bad game, then all credibility will be lost from everyone, okay? Okay, number 8, The Noid, Festus Quest, Toad, number 2. Oh, oh, here we go. Number 5, Guile. Who says Guile's a bad character? Guile is amazing. He may not be the best, but he's slick. He is one of the coolest characters ever, okay? 
Kid Chameleon. I don't want to know what their problem is with Kid Chameleon. Number three, Tails. Arthur. So, basically, they don't like hard games. They're pussies for the hard games, okay? And pa Paperboy. They have this running thing with Paperboy and Arthur. So, those were the worst game in Heroes. Let, um... Let us go for a while. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go on one of their... This might be the last one after this.